Welcome to Startup Hack. Today we've got some big news from Google, something that's gonna really help how you develop your apps. Google just launched a brand new web-based IDE based on VS Code called Project IDX, and I'm here to tell you why it's a game changer, especially for Flutter developers. If you've ever struggled with setting up a dev environment, if you wanna code on the fly, this is gonna make your life a whole lot easier. So let's dive into it today. All right, so welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer Thomason, and here at Startup Hack, we love training software developers in our custom boot camps, as well as to build custom software for companies. I do a lot of work as a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and a solid 25 years in software development, I've mastered the art of transforming technology teams and products. So the great, the big thing here today is Project IDX. Google launched this incredible web-based IDE that lets you write, run, and debug code right in your browser. No more downloading heavy software, no more configuring your machines. This IDE is lightweight and fast and super intuitive. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is because we're gonna get this started in less than five minutes and you're gonna be up and running with your first Flutter app uh, in five minutes. So Flutter is already a powerhouse for building cross-platform applications. It lets you build once and compile out into native Android and native iOS. No weird uh, platform to run on top of, it builds out to native. But setting up the environment can be a pain in the butt sometimes. So this is where Project IDX comes in. It takes away a lot of the hassle. With this new ID, you can start coding in Flutter without needing to download SDKs or their dependencies. So imagine spinning up in a mobile development uh, app right in your browser within minutes. You could even do this from like an iPad. It's amazing. So you don't even have to have powerful hardware anymore. So IDX is such a big deal because of two words, speed and simplicity. So we're gonna dive into that today and go through a lot of those. And so let me switch over to my screen here and we'll get started. Now, as with any big project, and as it should be, you can see that you can dive right into the project and there's a ton of different articles here on this blog. And so if you get stuck anywhere, one, if you get stuck, feel free to reach out to us because here at Startup Hack, we love to train software developers. So if you have any problems, just reach out to us. But there's a lot of great things in these blogs show all the amazing apps in here. And so this talks about why they built uh, Project IDX and how they built it, which is pretty cool because they even talk about um, the environments and how they opened it up, right? How they uh, took open source code and how they used it. But this is a big one here where they're introducing the Android emulators, iOS simulators, and other products updates from Project IDX and this is super exciting because like it says right here so what's new new in IDX is a key part of building project is your feedback so they love getting your feedback um, but they're talking about here IDX web and Android emulators allow you to develop test and bug directly from your workspace consolidating your multi-step platform now if you think I'm just making this up I'm just gonna do this totally live here so not speed anything up, not diving anything, anything. We're gonna just create, click on Flutter right here, right? We're gonna say, um, we're gonna build um, Spencer's, uh, we're gonna Spencer cool app. Oh, you know what? We're gonna startup hack rocks. Let's go with that. That's gonna be our app, Startup Hack Rocks. Okay, all right, so we're gonna get a new app called Startup Hack Rocks. Now, again, I'm doing this in real time because I want you to be able to see how long this takes and how simple this is to get to your very first uh, app. This is not complicated, guys. Like, I remember downloading and installing my very first Android emulators back in the day with Android Studio, and this does still actually leverage Android, full Android Studio in the cloud, too. Um, if you don't want the simplified one, if you're used to Android Studio, um, but, and then, then moving into flutter, boom guys, like it's that simple. Now you'll notice that it's still kind of loading up here. So this is now executing this task back in the back end. So it's actually running in Google cloud. I still haven't touched anything other than the original. Um, and so it's actually running the Gradle daemon. So all this is running in Google's cloud and you can see that I can leverage Gemini. I can pop this open and say, hey, Gemini, let's chat a little bit, right? So I can actually chat and work with Gemini right here in my browser. Um, help me build an Android app, okay? Just while I was running here. But anyways, I'm actually not gonna really play with, emula with that here. So now if I go into my Android code here, right? We're gonna start right off with our Gradle view here. Now you can see while I'm talking, all of this down below, so it's actually running through and building it. So it just took 43 seconds to build because this was built in the cloud. You could be doing this on an iPad. I mean, I'm doing it on a fairly decent machine because this is my video streaming machine, but boom, look at that. 
It's starting the server. I didn't change any of this, guys. Like I didn't, I didn't move any of this. Um, this is all right out of the box. And so this is how seamless and easy it is to get started. So you can see the main.dart is where we have our main code here. And I'm gonna shift this over because I'm on kind of a small screen here. But you can see the web is starting up here to give us our preview. And you can see that the Google, uh, the Android emulator is also running here, see? So it's starting up here, looks like our little Android. Um, oh, and there we go, there's our app. It's getting loaded here, right? So terminal will be reused. So see, it's still running in that, and it, what it's doing is running this cloud behind the scenes. Now look at that. We've got our first app with a live button and everything, and it works on the web too. So this is the web version of Flutter, right? Now, I wanna show you guys how easy it is to make a change in hot load. You're like, yeah, okay, well it did that, but can it do it and do some stuff in real time? So I'm just gonna make a really silly change here just because, um, uh, so let's just say that we want to have it count twice. Oh, tabs versus spaces, right? Um, so I save it. Let's go over here, say run and debug. Okay, so this guy's running. So I could actually put breakpoints on here too if we wanted to. So we'll do that next here. Um, so I'm gonna show you and let this run run. So it does take a few seconds, but if you've ever run it locally, you'd know that this actually would take some similar amount of time as well. So there goes, boom, just built our APK. It's restarting the emulator, web is restarting. So all of these are deploying here and voila, it just did it for us. Now, if you wanna see and make sure that this is really working here, right? So we just connected to the VM web service. So the web's gonna redeploy here as well, right? So I can reload this. Now, if I do this here, uh, we can, oh, looks like we disconnect hard reset. So let's see here, because I think it's rerunning our, our, our uh, restarting the emulator here. You can see the emulator is actually restarting down here. So it's still reloading, boom, there we go. Okay, so you see it just jumped two, right? So if I click on that again, jumps to four, jumps to six, right? So on our web here, same thing, two, four, six, it's because we got two of these here. Now we want to do a debug. We throw in a debug here. And it looks like we got, oh, we have to restart it with the debugger. I think we have to restart with the debugger. Um, let's see, oh yeah, start debugging, sorry. We gotta hit that. So let's say Dart and Flutter. Yep, oh, we know we don't wanna start a second instance. Sorry, we have to stop this one. So we gotta restart it with the debugging, right? And so if we wanna run and debug here, so let's say Dart and debug. So it's gonna run this. This is how simple it is, guys. Like it's, they've just, Google has done a fantastic job taking this open source project of the VS Code, making this trivially, trivially simple. I mean, so far we're at seven minutes in this video. I've been doing this real time and I think half the time I was shooting my mouth anyways. So definitely go to Google IDX, play around with this. I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised and find out how easy it is to get started building a Flutter app. And the best part is that you can also even run uh, the iOS, they don't, they don't call it an emulator, they call it a simulator. So I think it's because Google can't run uh, full Mac in the cloud, but this is really cool. And so this is a great easy way to get started with Flutter and to get started doing some Flutter development so you can do cross-platform applications. Now, some of the best things is if you build an app and you're not really sure how to integrate those into your system, reach out to us here at Startup Pack. We love to train software developers and we also love to work with companies to build custom software solutions. So if you need some help getting your apps connected, reach out to us because that's our specialty. If you want to build it, but you want some help, we also do custom consulting where we work with developers because I'll pair you with a developer who will actually help you and walk you through and get you unstuck. And so we have people who work with us daily for an hour a day. We have people who work with us once a week. It's really helpful and people love it. So hit us up, hit up startuphack.com slash Spencer or reach out to Spencer at startuphack.com. Spencer with a C and we'll catch you guys next time. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel because we bring you lots of great tutorials and tips that every developer should know. See you next time.